Let's open up some Funko Five Star Harry Potter kids coming up after this. Okay, I love Funko Five Star. I'm not a huge Funko Pop fan, but I do love Funko Five Stars, and they make all kinds of cute little squat babies that I love, and this is my collection of them so far. I have eight Harry Potter ones that I haven't opened up. I'm gonna open up four kids today, and then I'm gonna open up four adults somewhere down the line, I think. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing these. These are old now, but I still love Funko 5 Star. I think they're still making them. I don't always know what all the properties are. They have video games and stuff that I don't play, but it still doesn't matter because I really, really like how they look. How over saturated are these figures. My lighting is kind of creepy right today, but I guess that's okay. So I remember watching the first movie. I would say that I have all of these, but I think I kind of remember the one where they have that, there's that ball thing that they play like squash with or something and on broomsticks. I think I only saw the first movie, and I didn't watch it for a long, long time because I didn't really like it. I didn't think I liked it, but then I, I think I did like it. I don't know if I liked it enough to watch the other movies though, so maybe I didn't like it. It's all come with different accessories. I better put on my glasses because they do have tiny little fun accessories, and I don't know if I will see them all if I don't put my glasses on. For instance, this guy comes with this teeny tiny, oh no, is this gonna happen all the time? I'm gonna break if I drop them like that. Teeny tiny little wand. And I don't know what these outfits are all about that they have them on. Maybe it says something on the box about vinyl figure Ron Weasley. That's all it says open here. They have a Velcro peekaboo box, but I already opened him so you can't see that. This is what the backdrop looks like. I love that. I actually haven't thrown out any of the backdrops or I even think the boxes because I even like the artwork on them. He comes with earmuffs that are quite loose. That's kind of not cool, but they're so loose. So I guess this is, they're in their winter garb, maybe? Obviously there's this weird little guy that I did not see. At least I don't think I saw. I don't know what movies I saw. I guess maybe I didn't enjoy them too much because they apparently weren't too memorable for me. I like this plant though. I have a feeling that it talks, and I'm right, it has a face. You can see the face, they can't. I wish I had the accessories, but they're buried in the box with the other ones. I have all the accessories, like, all over on one corner. Let's just finish opening these things up. It comes with a very flat sock. It's kind of funny. I should like use these for my 1-6 scale dioramas. Some of these accessories would be great. A book with all kinds of ink spilled in it. I guess that is something that happens in the movie. And he doesn't look like he's dressed for winter. And he is like creepy cute. So he's ugly, but he's cute. That kind of is what happens a lot with these Funko Five Star figures, because they're so adorable, but yet they make scary monsters and stuff. And they make them so cute. 
So that is the epitome of what I like in the toy. I don't have his wand in his hand. Okay, who else? Who else do we got going on here? Let me show you at least one where you take advantage of the Velcro and you look inside and oh she's got another one of those plants too and now i know why the earphone ear earmuffs don't fit perfectly because they have them for everybody maybe it's a different design though um, they have different ear indentations now i don't know who's a zoo keeps dropping his wand. I don't know how you're supposed to keep the ear mops on. Whoa. Oh, here. So clumsy. Let's take away the old ones and we'll bring in the new ones. Harmony. Oh, and Doby was the name of that creature, I guess. They all have arms that move and their heads twist. That is the extent of the articulation. I really like the colors on these though. They kind of look like Ghostbusters too. He traveled somewhere that was gold. How come Dobie didn't have a magic wand? Her wand is different. That's attention to detail. I bet you they look exactly like the ones from the series. Uh, she is going to struggle holding it though. Got it kind of balanced in her hand. But I have it in her hand. Okay. And look how cute this plant is. Cute and creepy and bad. That's its bum. Those are cool. Now that's not going to be able to stand up by itself. Yes, it is. I balanced it. I've got a mess going on here. Oh no, he fell. Oh, she fell. Her wand stayed in her hand. What? Did I show you their backsides? That's her bum. Better lay him down here. And then we've got the last one, Harry himself. This is kind of a messy review, isn't it? His headphones, headphones, earmuffs. And they're all in slightly different colors, which is cool. That's what he looks like. What is with these trench coats? You can let me know in the comments below what's up with the trench coats. I like his gloves. Oh, and his wand is fatter than the other ones. Maybe it's the same wand. I don't know. I can't tell. Now they all look similar. Yeah, I think they're the same. I don't know why I thought they were different. Hers is different. This is longer and thinner. But I think him and Weasley have the same. No, they're different. Uh oh. No, I'm never gonna know whose is whose. I think I got them matched up right. Really cute. See that cute little top of hair? His glasses are molded differently. And they're just really, really cute figures. They don't hold their wands. Their wands keep falling out of their hands. And then the last thing is this guy. Another bad baby. It's totally a different mold from the other one. That is so cool to get the plant collection. Okay. 
I hope you uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you watch this video. And I hope you're gonna watch the next one where I open up the adults with the Walmart exclusive ones. We'll see you next time. Yeah, in part three, we're going to be opening up this guy. He's the Walmart exclusive. Looks like it was Harry. We're going to be opening up this guy. He's the regular one. We're going to be opening up the Walmart exclusive version of Haggard. Hagrid. Hagrid. And then we're opening up this guy, which I thought there was a, an additional one of him, but no, there's not. Let me know which ones I'm missing, too.